It's not the lies that you hear. That's why I don't run MSNBC that much. It's the lies by omission. Arlington shooting. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. We were live on air. And while we were live on air, every single outlet started covering the mass school shooting. Breaking news, right? Remember when I was on air, I said, oh, my heart, and obviously and people always say, oh, those thoughts and prayers. That's all you can send. Rather than politicize it before the bodies are cold, mm, right. of course you should be. I'm not ashamed of it. Of course I'm praying for my fellow citizens. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the, I'm praying for the innocent ones to live, to be safe, and I'm praying for the criminals to be, to be killed, for justice to be served, for them to be eliminated as a threat. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Just in case you've forgotten, we highlighted then. Uh, the shooting the day after where the media was pushing the narrative once they found yeah. out that he was uh, African-American, mm-hmm. that uh, it was due to him being bullied. It's not true, but in case you forgot. The fir- here's the first thing. It's Simpkins' family, the kid who uh, shot up the school. Yeah. Uh, his family blamed, uh, rather than apologize, it was surprising how they did not apologize when you watch this entire yeah. clip. They blamed bullying. Well, one does. He was scared. He was afraid. There's a video that's all out on social media, and it shows that he was being attacked. It wasn't just one person that would attack him and bully him, taking his money. It takes us all. It takes us all to stand together about this bullying. It could have been a situation where he took the other turn and decided to commit suicide. What the decision oh, that would have been way made, worse than shooting gun, four people. Yeah. We're not justifying that. Oh no! Rather than shoot four people, he could have killed himself? Oh. Thank God we dodged that bullet, and he didn't. To be fair, Corner Black Garrett, you, I remember when that came out, you said you felt yeah, I mean, bad for the guy. Yeah, I mean, like he yeah. was getting bullied. He was getting beat up. And right. I thought, you know. And I, I mean, obviously not a good thing to do to go take a gun. No, of course not. People. That's horrible. Obviously. But like, yeah. I could imagine a kid being distraught and not knowing. You could imagine a scenario. Stupid right, yeah. And, and, we, that. and you but, agree that now your opinion has probably changed. Yeah. <laughs> well, because before, and I need to show the clip. So that you see what I'm talking about. The police chief, Al Jones, lest you say this is white supremacy, I have a clip, said it was not at all the result of bullying. This was not a bullying incident. And I just want to take that narrative out of the equation. Mr. Simpkin is involved in high-risk activity. Hmm. Mm. And uh, that high-risk activity led to the disagreement within the community. High-risk activity. Huh. Activity. Not right. fighting bully. Visiting yeah. truck stops or? I was going to say I do high risk activity like the time I went in the, <laughs> the time I went in the porta potty with George Michael. Here's something else. No national network covered nope. that. Oh, no. Covered the school shooting. And this is the thing where people go, oh my gosh, it feels like there's a school shooting every day. Oh my gosh, there's a white mass shooter. Yep. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that we, we need to solve this problem. And so what do you do? You trust people like Jerry Nadler to institute gun control, who's too busy trying to figure out what a semi-automatic firearm is. <laughs> and then you give up your rights. Meanwhile, when the truth comes out, the media moves on. It's not the lies that you hear. That's why I don't run MSNBC that much. It's yeah. the lies by omission. To yeah. me, it is just as dangerous of a lie to dedicate hours live, manhunt, mass school shooting. Yeah. And then when you find out that's not what it was. Right. And it was not. And then the, mm. when you cover the bullying narrative, and then we find out from a black police chief that that's likely not what it was, you don't cover it at all. That, to me, is akin to a lie. Yeah. Well, he said there. It is absolutely not what was going on. Right. Right. And it was. He stopped short of basically telling us, like, look, he just, he must be one of them house police chiefs. Ah, uh, well, no, no. That's the thing. What are you going to say? Is is yeah. every black guy who po- who who, who points course. out your bullshit racist? Yeah. Let's be clear about that. Is every single one of them racist? 